Hello, everybody, and welcome to this uh, special event, which is launching a very, very important campaign. Important because it really affects your health. It affects every single person's health, and this is a campaign that you need to keep following, you need to be part of, because quite literally it could save your life. And this is the NDTV Fortis Health For You campaign that we are kicking off out here right now, and we're going to be taking you through over the next period of a few months, lots and lots of things to do with your health and how they can become, become really, really important. Now, it has particularly become notable in the recent times that the infectious diseases which once used to kill a lot of people aren't quite that much anymore. They aren't as dangerous, or if they are as, as dangerous, at least there are some solutions for them. But in a number of other places, lifestyle diseases and others, they are keep continuing to be out there and they are becoming bigger killers than ever. Ma Malvinder, why don't I I'd start off with you first? Uh, for Indians, over the next many years, 75% of diseases are going to be emanating out of non-communicable diseases. And that is going to increase because of development of the nation, because of our lifestyles, because of our hectic schedules, and the jobs and the way we run our daily lives. So I think it's very important we recognize and understand that we need to move from sickness to wellness, from treatment to prevention. And this whole aspect about prevention, about staying healthy, about living healthy, about being able to eat right, exercise, is very, very critical. And I'll just end by one point. All you need to do is to walk 30 minutes a day. And by doing so, you would be able to reduce the risk of diabetes by 50%. And I can tell you, India today is the global capital of cardiac diseases, of diabetes, and also of oncology. And therefore, for us as a nation, if we wish to grow, if we wish to be a healthy nation, we must be able to be healthy citizens. I think, um, um, you know, it's we pay so much to, to enroll in a gym and uh, to get the fanciest trainers, but it actually begins with us, and it begins in the most simplest way. If you live in a building, take the stairs. If you're at an airport, use the stairs. Don't use the escalator. Walk up and down the stairs. If you live 15, 20 minutes away from your workplace, you can walk to your workplace. Um, I think we've made our lives more complicated than we should. Um, it's very, very important for us to take that one hour for ourselves. Um, it's not being selfish. And being a woman, I want to say that to all the women out there specifically, it's okay to not tend to your children or to your husband or to your work for just that one hour for yourself. Keep that time for yourself every day, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. Uh, do a little bit of yoga or even like he said, um, you know, just 30 minutes is all you need to just keep your, your you know, um, your heart going and it makes a difference to not just the way you look or the way you, it, it makes a difference to the way you feel. Um, and I think that kind of shows in your aura as well. You carry this positive energy with you when you're feeling good about yourself. Um, I think we also underestimate the power of sleep. Um, I think the youth especially, I think we've all started compromising on sleep. And just eight hours of quality sleep can make a huge difference to your day. Cure can only take you that far back yeah. to where you were. But if you're able to prevent yourself and do the right stuff, uh, it can keep you healthy and there's nothing more than that. And I think as a country today, uh, we as citizens don't actually take too much interest in that space. And I think therefore these kind of platforms and programs are very, very important for us uh, as a nation and also as an individual. Every second in this country, one person dies of cardiac disease. One second. Two seconds and one person is born with a congenital heart disease. In our country, this problem is epidemic. Every second a person, and every second literally a person dies of a heart attack. And the unfortunate part in our country is that 80% of these are preventable if either done preventive care or done early diagnosis. And we don't do that either which way. And the way I see it being in the, in the other side of the spectrum is that we are often seen taking care more of our cars than we take care of our bodies. Mm. Yeah. Even if a car has a little chink, in the noise or the gas is low, we go straight to the workshop. But our body has things all the time. We don't do anything about that. So yeah. I think it's a function of changing our own mindset and saying that this is important for me. And I have to do that first before I can do any other service or responsibility for anybody else. Don't wait to have a heart attack 
yeah. to realize that you need to be fit. I will uh, agree with Deepika. She said sleep is very important and it is a huge luxury for policemen to have uh, so much of sleep. I mean, I wish every policeman could have that much sleep to uh, begin with. And then uh, I also object to your statement saying slightly active. It is very, very active. And uh, people uh, in Mumbai especially, they take so much of time traveling to their workplace and going back that they are hardly left with any time for themselves. Is it also true that you burn one calorie a minute by just standing? I've read this somewhere. Really? Yeah, so I think we should all stand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can exercise for three hours, but that's not cardiovascular fitness. That make you lose weight, but may not necessarily get you cardiovascular fitness. The bottom line is, age-old, centuries-proven lifestyles we are destroying too rapidly. Okay. If we just, all this reinvention of our own old Indian lifestyle, I think that is a prescription. It's a great pleasure. We're now being joined by Dr. Harshwardhan, who's the Minister for Health and Family Welfare. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. It's, it's really a, a privilege that you are, you are joining us for this. Just wanted to get the government's perspective. And information is knowledge. And knowledge means that you can keep yourself healthy. You can keep the diseases away from you. Right. Dr. Harshwardhan, um, across the world and also now increasingly in India, especially in urban India, where once upon a time the big concern used to be infectious diseases and things like that, now increasingly it's things like fast food and fast life culture. Many people are saying that this is now becoming one of the great health hazards in urban India and it's also directly related to the increase in heart ailments that we are seeing. How do we fight this? We have to start everything at the school level. We have to make sure that the education departments, they not only are uh, concerned about the academic uh, educational part of um, getting the course uh, completed and then the person getting a pass percentage and then getting on to the next class, they also have to make sure that the children, they develop good values, they develop good healthy habits, their food habits are good and Apart from this, it has to go into the colleges also, youth wherever they are. They have to be involved in developing a strong movement. And I would suggest that eating good healthy food, it should become a sign of modern tendencies. Rather than eating junk food or the fast food, whatever you call, that is not, that fast food is not modern. Today, modern is what is healthy, and that's the trend in the West also. All right, Dr. Harshwadhan, it's such a pleasure to hear from you and to listen to you, and, and we wish you all possible support from all of our sides in whatever we can do. Deepika, in your, in your home, who does the pushing for more and more exercise? You or your dad? Dad. No, all I think we're all, all, all four <laughs> of us. Are the problem. Dads are the answer. <laughs> no, yeah. All four of us are very, very uh, health conscious. And I think, of course, it comes, it stems from dad being an athlete and the fact that from a very young age, they encouraged us to go out, play downstairs in the building every day, cycle, <coughs> play cricket with the boys, you know, just get out of the house. But yeah, I think kids today prefer just being at home and, you know, um, they, they play a lot of football, but it's FIFA on the Xbox, which is slightly exactly. worrying. Or, you know, exactly. what are you doing? I'm playing football. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, but I'm playing it on the Xbox. And then that sort of ruins the purpose. Yeah, a I think bit. If, you, if, you, if you start at a very young age and encourage your children to go out and play in the garden and play with other children in the building, learn cycling, you know, um, swimming, whatever it is, um, it has to start at that age. Otherwise, uh, it gets very, very difficult later on in life to kind of make that a part of your lifestyle.